The other week I combined all of my smaller Euro rack cases into one larger system. As I was setting it up, I realized I had inadvertently acquired every low pass gate that Make Noise has made. I figured this was a unique opportunity that deserved a comparison video. Starting from the bottom up, we have the discontinued Dynamix, which uses the same low pass gate as the No Coast. This means it has no Vactrals and an extremely snappy character with a fast response time. Now the one unit I am missing is the QMMG or the Quad Multi-Mode Gate. I do not have one because I am not one of the five richest kings in Europe. But I do have the MMMG or Mono Multi-Mode Gate, which according to the manual is the same circuit as the QMMG with some extra features added. Also there is only one channel. Next we have the Optimix, one of Make Noise's more popular units. It's a Vactral based low pass gate with a smooth 6 dB per octave slope in its filtering. Next to it is the LXD or Low Strike Duo. It has two channels. The bottom is also a 6 dB per octave low pass gate, which to my ears is the same as the Optimix. The upper channel has a little more flavor since the circuit introduces a fixed amount of resonance and has a 12 dB per octave slope. Finally, we have the Rix Mix, which is basically 50 Vactrols put into a plastic bag and duct taped to a PCB. Here's a scientific chart showing how some of the units are more of a filter, some are low pass gates in that they affect amplitude and frequency content at the same time, and others have a more VCA like character. The standout quality of the low pass gate is the slower decay time that is usually the product of the Vactrols. Even with very short gates or triggers, the sound will naturally decay at roughly an exponential rate. I think the best way to relay this is with short percussive sounds that really highlight this decay. For this comparison, I'll use the same patch and swap cables between units. The first patch will be an FM sound coming from the DPO. The second will be a sawtooth wave coming from the Synchrodyne. For this patch, both are going to use the same sequence. We have an SQ1 sending a simple sequence to a VCO, in this case the Synchrodyne, because I really like the sawtooth out of that, and that will go into all of our low pass gates. Uh, we'll be using maths with an exponential envelope for our envelopes, and we have the second channel of maths which will be cycling, which will lengthen and shorten the original envelope. That means we'll go from basically instant or uh, a trigger signal up to a longer control. As a baseline, I will start with the Make Noise Mod to Mix, which will act as a VCA with an instant decay time. When the envelopes are very short, you will just hear a click. Keep this in mind as we get to the low pass gates, which will have a longer decay time even with the same extremely short envelopes. This means on some units you'll be able to hear the tonal content of the audio input even when the CV input is basically just short enough to be a trigger. After the demos, I'll have a short write-up on my thoughts for all of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that we've listened to all of them, I'm going to rank them according to my personal preference. I'd like to add the disclaimer that they're all good. None of them are bad modules, and each of them has their own unique character that I've decided to equate with condiments. First we have the Dynamix, which I feel is the low pass gate equivalent of ranch dressing. Now, depending on your personal feelings about ranch dressing, this could be damning with faint praise. Personally, I like ranch dressing, I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. It can be mixed with other things to make tasty dips, and is my preferred wing side because blue cheese is kind of gross. The Dynamix is a useful module that sounds great overall. It's not going to jump out at you in a patch, but that's not really the point for most of these modules. They are here to accent your sound sources, and in that regard, I find the Dynamix to be pretty neutral. I believe the Rix Mix is roughly equivalent to mayonnaise. This might seem bland at first, but when you think about how flexible mayo is and how flexible the Rix Mix is, it's probably the most apt comparison anyone has ever made about anything ever. You can gussy it up and make aioli, which is just pretentious mayonnaise. You could put it on a sandwich, in a salad, make a sauce. The Rix Mix doesn't impart its own frequency characteristics to a sound because it seems to work purely in the amplitude domain. But it can route and blend so many signals that it's a very useful addition to my rack, even if it's a pretty chunky module. The MMG is definitely mustard. It could probably be subtle, but that's not the point. This is fine stone ground horseradishy mustard. Of all the modules, it probably has the biggest opportunity to add the most character, not only through the extreme resonance it can add to a signal, but also due to the gain and drive that it can add on the front end before the filter. The LXD is that really good dip that someone always makes for a party, but you've never actually made yourself, which has the salsa on top and the cream cheese on the bottom. They're just really good flavors that complement each other and stand out on their own. And while this dip isn't really a condiment, if we're being honest with each other, the metaphor isn't really rock solid, and it's my list, so... I think the LXD is a no-brainer for almost anyone's rack. It's really cheap, it takes up a minimal amount of space, and it sounds fantastic. Finally, we have the Optimix, which is really, really good olive oil. Like that bougie olive oil you might not buy for yourself, but someone gives you at Christmas and you say to yourself, wow, that's really good olive oil. It's smooth and it just makes everything taste better. It's my personal favorite on the list and probably the one I'll always have. I understand there's some variation from unit to unit due to the variance in the performance of the Vactrols, but that just means they're bespoke low-pass gates. Everyone should have an Optimix in their rack, and I think it's my favorite low-pass gate of all the ones that I've had so far. In conclusion, Eurorack modules are food. Good day.